Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you 10 easy DIY five minute craft ideas. If you enjoy this video, please click that like button. And if you'd like to see future DIY videos, please click that subscribe button. The first DIY will be rainbow lip balm. For this one, I'm going to use rainbow colored eyeshadow. If you don't have rainbow colored eyeshadow, you can also use Kool-Aid. What I did was I just started scraping each color of the rainbow into little cups. Next, I took a small amount of Vaseline and mixed that with the eyeshadow. I repeated the same process for each color of the rainbow. I'm going to be using these stackable containers to put the lip balm in. And that's all there is to this easy DIY rainbow lip balm. Second DIY is a fun spring craft, which is a spinning pinwheel pencil. Choose any color paper that you would like to use. And then what I did was I measured out a four by four square and cut that out. I placed a mark in the center of the square. I made one and a half inch lines from the corner to the center point. Next, I cut on each of those lines. used a round push pin to make a hole in the center. Use the same push pin to make a hole on every other corner. Next, I folded in the corners that I just made the holes in and I folded those into the center. Then I placed the push pin through all of those pieces then I'm going to use a pencil and poke the push pin through the eraser, making sure that it doesn't poke all the way through. And now you have a spinning pinwheel pencil. The third DIY will be a super fun keychain. For this one, I'm just going to use a piece of foam. On the foam, I drew two identical images representing a fry box, and then I cut those out. With a Sharpie, I went around all of the sides of the fry box, and I did that for both pieces. Here are what mine look like at this point. The next thing I did was I went online and I printed out a saying, fries before guys, and I mirror imaged that when I printed it out, and then with a pencil, I went over each of the letters. Once I had traced over all the letters, I flipped it over and I put it into the center of the piece of foam and then I just scratched with the pencil on the back so it would transfer onto the foam. And you can't see it real clearly, but all of the letters transferred onto the foam. Now I'm going to use a fine point Sharpie and I'm going to go over all of the letters. I'm going to use a pink Sharpie to color in the letters. I'm 
using a piece of yellow foam, I cut out strips to resemble french fries. I arranged the french fries how I wanted them and then I glued them down. Next, I glued the top to the bottom. I colored in the sides and the bottom with a black Sharpie to give it a finished look. Using a hole punch, I punched a hole in one of the fries and then I used a keychain and a jump ring and attached it to the fry. The fourth DIY will be unicorn string lights. For this one, you will need to print out these images. I actually just got these online and put them into a printable. I will leave a link down below for both of them. Once they're printed out, then you just want to cut each of them out. Once they're all cut out, you just want to go around the edges with a glue stick and glue the two together, leaving the top open. I placed a toothpick in the center that was still open just to make sure that nothing was glued together. And I just repeated that same process for the unicorn magic bottles. And here are all of mine once they were glued together and dried. I'm going to use these LED lights. It is a set of 10. Placed each of the lights in the hole that was in the center and I just pushed it all the way through so just the wire was hanging out. And I just repeated that same process for all 10 of the lights and images. And here they are once they were complete. I absolutely love how these turned out. The camera doesn't really show how cute these are. And also remember not to leave the lights unattended. The fifth DIY will be Orbeez nail polish pens. This is similar to the nail polish pens that I made earlier and I will leave a link down below if you want to watch that video. I started by cleaning out a nail polish bottle and the other video that I talked about will show you how to do that. I'm going to use the ink from a ballpoint pen and I just measured it out and trimmed it down to size. I will be using about 10 to 15 Orbeez and I just dropped those into the nail polish bottle and added some water and waited for them to grow. I removed the nail polish brush from the cap. Once the Orbeez had grown, then I placed the ink into the nail polish bottle and with some hot glue, I secured the ink into the nail polish bottle. Make sure to add a little bit of water to the bottle before you glue the pen in there so the Orbeez don't shrink down. That's all there is to these easy Orbeez nail polish pens. The sixth DIY will be scented Play-Doh. With all the slime videos, I thought to mix it up with some Play-Doh. This recipe is super simple. It only requires two ingredients, one of them being yogurt. I'm going to use a strawberry yogurt, and I just emptied that into a bowl. Next, I will be using cornstarch, and I just slowly started adding that to the yogurt until it formed a Play-Doh consistency. 
And if you want to make a rainbow of colors, just add food coloring to the cornstarch and yogurt. And that's all there is to this super easy Play-Doh. And it smells amazing. It's also super stretchy. Since it does have yogurt in it, when you're done playing with it, you can just put it in a Ziploc bag and place it in the refrigerator. The seventh DIY project are glow-in-the-dark stars. For this one, I just printed out some stars and then I'm also going to use some parchment paper and I just placed that over the top of the stars and taped it down. I will be using these glow-in-the-dark glue sticks. I went over each of the stars with the glue gun that had the glow-in-the-dark glue sticks in it. Once they had cooled down, I removed them from the parchment paper. And that's how you make these super simple glow-in-the-dark stars. Again, the camera really doesn't show how great they glow in the dark, but these actually really glow in the dark really well. The next two DIYs go together. The first will be glow-in-the-dark sand. For this one, I'm, at, I'm actually not going to use sand, I'm going to use some Epsom salt, and I just started by placing some in a Ziploc bag. Next, I added some glow-in-the-dark paint. I'm going to use pink, and then I just shook it up and mixed it around. To let it dry, you can either open up the Ziploc bag or a faster way is to put it on a cookie sheet in a thin layer. And here is the glow-in-the-dark sand once it was dry. I'm going to fill up a tall Starbucks cup with the glow-in-the-dark sand. And the next DIY is just a fun thing to display in the sand. And that will be a flower pencil. For this one, I cut out five sheets of tissue paper in eight by six inches. I faced the shorter side towards me and then started folding it in an accordion fold. I rounded out both of the ends. Using a green pipe cleaner, I placed that in the middle and twisted it around. I started carefully pulling up the first layer of tissue paper, and then I continued pulling each layer up toward the top until all the layers of the tissue paper were separated and the flower was formed. I wrapped the pipe cleaner around a mini pencil and then I stuck it into the sand. I know that the flower doesn't really look super close to whipped cream, but it's just a really cute and fun DIY project. The last DIY project will be a mini Starbucks notebook. For this one, I'm going to recycle one of the Starbucks bags that you get hot food in. 
I started by cutting out the Starbucks logo. I laminated the logo with contact paper, or you can also use clear packing tape. Once it was laminated, then I cut it out. On a piece of cardstock, I traced around the logo and cut that out so I had two circles. I took one of the cardstock circles, traced around that, and then cut out several circles to form my notebook. gathered up all my pieces for the notebook and on the front and back I put the piece of cardstock. I clipped those together and then I applied some white Elmer's glue to the top and to make this craft go quicker I used a hair dryer to dry the glue. This is mine after two minutes with the hair dryer. Next, I just glued the logo onto the cardstock. Once that's done, there you have your mini Starbucks notebook. I hope you guys enjoyed all of these five minute craft ideas. I would love it if you gave this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment, let me know which one was your favorite. If you have any future video suggestions, leave those in the comment. Until next time, I hope you guys all have an amazing day.